In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the subtotal function here in Google Sheets. So this function returns a subtotal for a vertical range of cells using a specified aggregation function. Now your aggregate functions are your sum, your count, your average, and these functions will be represented by function codes within our formula. So here's our syntax, and we're gonna learn more about this later, especially those function codes. Now here in my example data, I want to get the total of these sales right here for the month of April. Now this is a filtered data. If I try and get the total right now with just the sum function, let's try and do that. So equals sum, then select your range and press enter. You will have this total. Now this total is the total of the range without the filter. So with this dilemma, we're going to be using the subtotal function to get the total of this filtered data right here. So let's start our formula. That's equal. Type in sub, subtotal, select it right there. There you have it. Again, here is our syntax, our formula. To know our function codes, if you're not yet familiar with them, we're going to go down to explore and scroll all the way down to click learn more. Here on this help panel, we have the subtotal function, its definition, sample usage, and syntax. Right here, we have the function code where each of these numbers represent an aggregate function. And again, the one that we want to use is the sum function, which has the function code 9. So let's put that in right there, 9, comma, and as our syntax dictates, we have our range 1, range 2. We simply just have, well, for this one, we only have range 1 or one range. And there you have it. We already have a preview of how much our total sales for this filter data is, which again, not equal to this one right here. Let me just format that into our currency. There you have it. So that's the main difference of using your subtotal function with your sum function. Subtotal function excludes your filtered data and at times your hidden data as well. Right below our syntax here, we have hidden values can be skipped for any of these codes by prepending 10 to the single digit codes. So if let's say we have some hidden values right here, let's hide 11 and 14 and select hide rows. There you have it. If we try and use the same subtotal function right here with just the nine function code, comma, and the same range, press enter, you'll be given the same results because we haven't used the prepend 10 yet. If we do include the 10 right here with our single function code, you'll be given a new total, press enter, there you have it. So for this one, we have the subtotal excluding the filter data. And for the second one, we have the subtotal excluding the filtered and hidden data. And there you have it. So again, if you have some filtered or hidden data with your large data set that you want to exclude in your formulas, this subtotal function will do it for you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.